we are back again in the Hunter Classic today to continue doing the Summer Fiesta missions with some new information that I had no idea about going in last week, and that is the fact that there are more missions that unlock after completing the first one. So I thought there were maybe a total of 10 to 12 objectives remaining that we hadn't yet completed. There are those, and then there are missions with far more difficult objectives. So we are at least going to try to get the score one done today. We need a 160 plus Blacktail Buck, that's why we're on Red Feather right now. We need a 240 Red Deer, which we couldn't get last time, and a 170 plus Axis Deer. The other kind of interesting thing is there are two really odd Blacktail competitions. One for, I think, the highest scoring buck with 6 points or less, and one for the lowest scoring buck. So I figured, let's start on Red Feather, even maybe the lower scoring bucks will be interesting potentially for competitions. Once we get that, we'll head on to the other maps. Now, one other thing we actually can work on out here on Red Feather is trying to get the fur types for Black Bear. I believe it's a chocolate and cinnamon fur type that you need for the other mission. And as we're just struggling to find any Blacktail Bucks whatsoever, I think we might as well try to take this guy. Now, one mistake I made was assuming we'd pretty much only focus on Blacktail and bringing the 6.5. That is not ethical for Black Bear, so we're going to have to go with the 45 Long Cold which can work, it just may take several shots to bring him down quickly. So as he's kind of getting broadside there, I really don't expect to hit anything other than flesh. So I'm not going to worry too much about the angle. We'll just kind of try to get multiple hits if at all possible. I've done this a couple of times with bears using this gun and it usually does bring them down. Just not exactly the way to do it. I think we only hit him twice though. So maybe we got a lung or intestines or something to help that out. It is an interesting gun. It's got the power. Actually, that might be a blacktail buck. Run around out there. It is. Not a big one. Definitely not going to do the mission, but we'll have to try to count the points. See if maybe it could do something for the competition and maybe lead us towards some others. A lot of times, blacktail do travel with multiple males in a group, but unless they were really spread out, I think that was just a solo, but this should be a cinnamon black bear. The fur types look a little bit odd for them. And actually it was, 3 hits, all flesh, 18 scores, 69 GM, and that was the cinnamon fur type, so at least that gets us somewhere. We've been on this map, as you can see, for almost an hour, just struggling to find anything at all for the Blacktail, but at least we saw that one that gives us at least a direction to go in for now. And unfortunately, this buck is actually going to be too big for any of the competitions, but way below 160 for our mission, so at this point... I think we'll go ahead and take him out with the 6.5. At least maybe learn a bit about what we can do with that gun. I mainly use it for things like Ibex and a little less resilient creatures than maybe some of the deer species, but it did just fine there. And maybe if we end up with a not so good angle on a bigger buck where we actually need to make that shot, that could be a good information to know. But I think we're going to fast travel to the northwest kind of island up here. A lot of times there are blacktail in that area and Considering the fact that there certainly don't seem to be as many down in here as normal, I can only assume they've got to be somewhere on the map, and maybe that's going to be where we're missing them, but we'll go and check what this guy is. I don't imagine that they would, for some reason, discount brow tines. I'm, I'm assuming it's 3x3 counting absolutely everything, so 99.9 meter shot actually double lunged him at that angle, and that one's a 93 scorer, which, uh... At least does place us top 10 in the lowest scoring Blacktail competition, but we're going to probably need a spike for that. Well, that didn't take too long. We've got another buck here, and he's going to be so close to accomplishing the mission. That's going to be a 150s Blacktail, or maybe high 140s. He's not going to cross 160, though. So I grabbed the Snakebite Bow. Because we just fast-traveled, it's hard to know what else might be around. So what we're going to do is jump in the tower, try to call that in. And if we got to take that with a snake bite in case there are others around, that should be all good. The other thing, if I can remember, is we're going to grab a bigger rifle in case we encounter a chocolate fur type black bear. I do see at least one more buck. Still not any that I think are going to cross 160, but oftentimes you'll get three in a herd. So we won't get ahead of ourselves. Let's jump up here. I think we barely made it only see the two and this one again too many times for the competition that buck knows something is up i know the towers aren't always great for hiding you but 
Maybe that was just because we were moving around. But as you can see, the silence of the snake bite, it really can't help you out in situations like this. There may be, we just heard a doe bleat, other blacktails around, and just getting those out of the way without having to worry about spooking things will be good. So, I mean, again, blacktail will travel in groups. You could get does and bucks together. Might as well call, we gotta switch guns and stuff and go and claim these. And I figure while we're waiting, we might as well go ahead and grab these guys. That was double lung at 14 meters, a 112 score. And then I'm gonna say probably 152-ish on this one. That's generally what this rack tends to score, which just one, one kind of tier higher. And we'd have been all good to complete that mission. That was a spine shot, 151. Almost uh, called that one right on the mark, but let's see if we can get lucky with what's coming in up off the hill here. That might just do it. That is not anything to do with the doe coming in from the other side. And I don't know if that's just a random solo buck or if he was maybe a third with the others. Now you can end up with this rack going like 158, 159. But generally speaking, that would be enough. And again, 4x4 four four for that blacktail, so nothing to worry about for the competition. I will say, this looks a little narrow, so I'm not going to be too... Uh, optimistic here till we get to claim him and see and that's another kind of decent buck i'd hate to just sit here while we already have the mission objective buck on the ground but in case he doesn't make it it might be best to not just go spooking everything i think it's probably time to try to get out of here despite the fact that we have another blacktail calling at least that one was a doe but what do we have, five blacktail bucks and two does just from this spot? And, you know, the fact that it took almost an hour to get to this point is at least partially responsible for all these deer being in this spot. This guy is 160.6, barely made it, but at least we got what we needed for that. So we can run through, claim all this stuff, and move on. But to kind of complete what I was talking about there, maybe we don't have this much luck if we start here, but... Who knows, we might have also had this done a whole lot quicker, starting at least in the area where the 160 buck would have been. I would say pretty good chance he had to be somewhere on this island to begin with, but you never know how far they decide to kind of wander around, especially over the course of a little over an hour. We're lucky we even dropped that doe to begin with, and then one more to claim over here, or actually two more since we have the one that we shot with the rifle as well. I would have liked to see one of these being a 3x3 just to at least have a shot at that competition. This one, we're getting the calculating score going on forever, so at least we don't need that for an objective, but it finally did work. And finally, after just under an hour and 15 minutes, we can head off to another map. Now, last time, I did say that I thought we could get a 240 Red Deer fairly quickly, and we were unable to do that, but hopefully with a second try, it'll go a little bit better and... If we can get that out of the way, maybe a 170 axis can happen as well. So despite the fact that we were unable to get a 240 Red Deer last time on Valdebois, I still think we're going to have better luck here than on Hirschfelden. So we've got the crossbow and the Mosin. Just kind of thought it might be fun to switch it up and hopefully less an hour and 15 minutes for this one. On many occasions, the first stag I find down here at the river is 240 plus. I'd love for that to happen, but just hopefully somewhat quickly so we can move on to access tier because I do think that one's likely to be difficult. This is just an odd day of hunting for things that I would consider relatively common. No 240 red deer, but what we just stumbled into is a cross fur type red fox which is on the fur type objectives and one that we actually hunted for a good bit between last week's video and last week's stream so we'll try to get in, call that in and take it with the crossbow. And I'm not too sure what we're going to do about red deer just yet. We just spooked one back there behind us, but it certainly was not a 240. We may end up doing another run of the river or maybe checking some other areas, but I feel like normally that's something we would get on just about any hunt on this map. Not this time, but I'm not going to complain about finding the red fox. For what it's worth, as this one is coming in, Anyone out there still looking for a cross fox, this is what they look like. I've seen a fair bit of confusion about the grays versus the crosses, and even you can get the silver tips kind of mixed up with the cross foxes, but that's essentially what you're looking at, that kind of darker coloration with a bit of orange. 
and naturally she decides to uh, slow down out there, but I wouldn't mind if she just kind of walks the rest of the way in. That should make for an easier crossbow shot, but I kind of do expect her to pick it up. New trail is always a good sign. I don't want to spend too much time looking back behind us. Certainly not A240, so we'll worry about getting this fox for now. And we have something sneaking in behind us that I'm betting is another fox. So we need to make this shot, even if the angle is not that good. It's going to take some tracking. I have no idea what's going on. It was another fox coming in. But actually, somehow, that must have been a single lung. I thought we hit it in the leg, the way that that looked. And maybe we did, but just in through to a lung. That didn't work out too badly. That will at least cross off one that was rather frustrating to work with last time. And actually, the way that looks, it's kind of in through the head. I have no idea how that looked that low to begin with, but that is the cross fox objective done. And like I said, I'm not too sure what to do about the red deer. We've pretty well hunted in most of the areas they tend to frequent. I don't love the estimate, but round two on Vaudebois might get us there. This rack most times ends up being like 242-ish, but it was only a couple of weeks ago over on Hirschfelden. We had one that was, I think, 236, so I'm hoping he can make it. We have the Mosin, of course, so we're going to have to get a little closer than this, but I sure hope that's over 240. I feel like I've never struggled this bad to find just a halfway decent stag, but the fact that we have one that at least has the right rack shape is encouraging. I kind of think we have ourselves in trouble here. I can't crouch or anything on these rocks. So I think we're just going to take the shot before we end up spooking him. I feel like if we start walking, other than maybe to stabilize our shot, he's just going to end up taking off. So he's actually a little bit kind of angled there. That at least should be a fatal hit. We'll throw one more up in that direction, maybe to help it out. And he is down right up in there. So fingers crossed he tops 140, especially considering how odd that circumstance was. I got into that position and I could tell he did have a, a little bit of like a alert, know something's going on animation. And I was just afraid to move and end up spooking him, especially after how tough this has been. So we'll see if he makes it. And just for good measure, we do see that initial shot was a long shot, so not too bad considering the circumstances. I do feel as if his spread is pretty good, so I'm optimistic anyway that he could top 240. That was oh, only one hit at 106 meters. My goodness, we are cutting it close today. 240.9. Between the blacktail and the red deer, we've had 1.5 inches of additional 800 to spare, but let's go to Bush Rangers. We're two hours and 44 minutes into doing these missions and we haven't done that many objectives black bear red fox blacktail and red deer but some that have been fairly tough and i'll be honest i think axis deer could be the worst maybe they'll go easy on us and we'll find one quickly and i guess there's only one way to find out if i'm not mistaken that right there is one of the two remaining feral hog fur types that we need for the objectives and once again not a axis deer buck in sight anywhere so far but the other thing that's been interesting is the black common feral hogs. They've been really tough for people to get, and I'm still not 100% sure about this, but I kind of think the the one behind the red white belted might actually be the one that counts. So there's another one over here that is, I think, the other potential candidate for black commons, and that one doesn't work. A lot of people have shot those. They never end up completing the objective. So what we're going to do is take the 340, I know we need this one. I'm hopeful this one is going to do the other side. We're going to take the red white belted first. And then in theory, the massive power of the 340, if we can get a hit, even as it's running away, should, well, <laughs> take it down or immediately drop it. That works just as well for me. And there were some feral ghosts. We need a piebald black. None from that herd. But at least one objective may be too done for that. I'm definitely not, uh, not upset at all to kind of extend the video and it extend some of the objectives that we're working on. I really mainly wanted to focus on the scores one today because we only had those three objectives remaining and could unlock that next mission, I think. I'm not 100% sure how it all works. We might actually have to do the fur type one to unlock anything, but either way, that's been the one that we've made 
far and away the most progress on. So at least for this one, I'm pretty confident that objective will work. It does have the belted rarity, and that does check off the red-white belted. And then the other one did not get too much farther by the time we got the shot off. I didn't notice a particularly high scoring pig, but that weight was pretty decent. But I'm not sure if we've shot one of these yet. We shot the other one, as I mentioned, that would appear to also be a black common, but apparently doesn't seem to count. Hopefully this will. And this can only be the female hogs. Actually, a nice weight on that. Almost 163 kg. And that also didn't check it out. Now, I have seen that one work. So I don't know where the difference is. Maybe there's one without the white belly? That could be. That's one of those things you don't pay attention to, to all the different variety when you're used to seeing them and when it doesn't matter, but when suddenly you need a specific fur type. I don't know, now I'm questioning if there are others that I am not considering. Unfortunately, I do think three and a half hours is going to be about the limit today, and just because there's another feral hog out here that maybe could complete the objective, we might as well go ahead and try to take that out. Now, I was actually told that one that I think has this fur type did for some reason count, and I really don't know what might be causing that. And honestly, I'm not sure what the solution is other than every time you see one that might, you gotta take the shot and see what happens. I really have no idea what specific attributes to look for to know if it actually is going to complete the objective. It's the last feral hog that we don't have, and I guess worst case scenario, maybe before the stream, I guess today, I'll try to fill the feeder and see if that is going to, to help us out. We could get a bunch that way. But as for this guy, not a bad sized male, probably in the mid 700s. 186 kg, 830 actually, a little bigger than I thought. And uh, I guess to be expected, not completing the objective. Now, I will say, because we haven't actually looked at any access here since being out here, there's been quite a number around, just nothing even remotely close to 170. So. That'll be another thing likely that we try to go and do on the stream later on today. But on that note, I think that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.